Hi everyone. So I wanted to do a quick video and it was based off of um, a conversation that I had with a new agent a few weeks ago and uh, it kind of spotlighted some of the confusion I think that uh, sometimes goes on, especially with some of the products that we work with. And so I wanted to kind of do this to spotlight two issues. And one is clarity between a particular carrier's products. So we're going to talk about that. But two, um, how important uh, words are. I know it sounds like a bit of a um, kind of a cliche for our times, right? You know, words matter. What we say matters. Uh, and it, the words do matter. We're, what we say d does matter. I'm not being cliche-ish. But uh, it's become kind of a catch term. And yet at the same time, we still use comments like, uh, you know, uh, ABC or whatever it's called. Uh, or whatever it's called. We get dismissive. And uh, one of the things that I think is very important for you as either a new agent or an experienced agent or a gr growing agent is to remember that what we, the terms that we use, the names that we have for products, all of those things are really, really super important. And so my encouragement to you is if you find yourself um, trying to focus on one aspect and figuring that, well, They'll know what I'm talking about if I don't use the right term or the right title or the right name of that product. Um, I would encourage you to spend some time finding a system that you, where you can learn effectively and learn the differences between those products and learn the names of the products for whatever companies or carriers that you're working with and make your job easier, make the person who you're working with, make their job easier. Um, you know, if you're working with a coach or you're working with somebody that's kind of guiding you through your first few weeks and months, uh, make sure that you are taking the time to really absorb those things because they really are very important. So I've drawn out one carrier's product names here on this board, but uh, my field of view here on my camera is somewhat small. So hopefully you're not going to be able to see my whole face while I'm talking. So, <laughs> and I had to draw it. Uh, horizontally so it all fits. So well, we're just gonna do our best this afternoon. How's that? Okay, so these are three products from a carrier that we use a lot of, which is, they really are, it really does kind of spotlight the difference between the three main differences between their products, okay? So we're gonna talk about the three main products, especially if you're in the simplified issue arena, and that's the arena that we work in, right? So you're probably gonna use uh, th these three products the most if you're dealing with um, if you're dealing with Mutual of Omaha. Now, remember what I said earlier. Whatever products, wh whatever carriers that you're working with, you should be connected and um, growing in your knowledge of the that pro carrier's product names and what those products, what the differences are. So, if you find it easiest and best to get yourself a small whiteboard and you know draw yourself what I, the advice that I gave to this particular agent that I was talking to was get a piece of paper, draw three lines down the middle, draw two lines down the middle. So you had three blocks and write these terms at the top and then write well, below it what each one does so that you have a really clear understanding of what it is, uh, that each, the difference between each product, cause you can't mix the names up, right? Can't do the, or whatever it's called. Uh, we want to be precise because in this industry, words definitely do matter. So when you're dealing with Mutual of Omaha, the first product and probably the primary product that you'll use is going to be Term Life Express. Now, Term Life Express is a simplified issue, non-medical. That means they don't have to go through a medical exam. They have to answer the questions on the application. There is a prescription check that the, that the um, carrier will do and an MIB check. Okay, to verify their answers on the application. So it's a simplified issue, non-med, no nurse, no needle in the arm, no pulling medical records. And it's also a term product. Now, what does that mean? That means that it's either going to be a 10-year, 15-year, 20-year, or a 30-year term product. So at the end of 10 years or 15 years, et cetera, the, product, the, the policy is going to end, okay? Term. It's only available for a term period of time. Term Life Answers is another product from Mutual of Omaha. And Term Life Answers 
is a fully underwritten, which means it's a medically underwritten product. That means that in addition to filling out the application and answering some questions, they will also have to get stuck in the needle, uh, stuck in the arm uh, with a needle by a nurse, right? Go through a medical exam. And then they're also going to have to have medical records uh, pulled in 99% of the cases. So anywhere from five years or plus worth of medical records. Uh, so Term Life Express, and the easy way to remember that is the Express product. It's it's Express, kind of the fast lane at the grocery store, right? Can't take as much with you, but it's a much faster line. So Term Life Express is going to have a smaller face amount, right? So you can't go above $300,000 um, and you can't go beyond 30 years, but you don't have to do the medical exam. Term Life Answers will allow you to go up into the millions of dollars in face amount, but you're going to have to do the medical exam. And same thing goes, you'll either have those amounts for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, or 30 years. The last product that is really gonna be a popular product is Living Promise. Living Promise is a simplified issue, whole life product, excuse me, simplified issue, whole life. So simplified issue, what does that tell us? It tells us no medical exam, right? Um, it's a whole life product, so what does that tell us? It tells us that this product will be there for their whole life. It will take them well past age 100, uh, they don't have to worry about the coverage going down or the premium going up. Um, and it, they don't have to worry about it running out after 10 years or 15 years or 20 years or so on. Now, um, this particular product is going to have a lower face amount. So it's going to be anywhere from 10000 to 40000 But notice, it's not going to have a time frame on it. So I didn't say uh, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years. I only said the amounts. Why? Because it's going to be there for an indefinite amount of years, right? It could be there if they're in their 50s. It could be there for the next 40 years. Uh, so it depends on this product is based on the face amount of the product, right? 10000 to 40000 These two products are based on not only the face amount, but also the time frame that somebody might be looking for. So three different products, three different product names, Term Life Answers, Express, and Living Promise. And uh, like we mentioned, like I mentioned before, for whatever carrier it is that you're working with on a primary basis, you need to make sure that you learn the products and learn the product names. Um, you don't have to study the uh, agent guide so that you have every little bit of information memorized, but you should know the core basics to that product. Is it a term product? Is it an express product, meaning there's no medical exam? Is it a fully underwritten product, meaning they have to do the medical exam and have medical records pulled? And is it a whole life product or versus a term product? So those are some really important concepts to start to wrap your mind around. And I know that uh, as we were studying for our state exams, those are the things that came up. However, uh, sometimes it gets convoluted when you're um, dealing with uh, studying for your state exam. You're trying to learn so many insurance concepts so one of the things that I wanted to do was to help to start to break some of those things down and simplify it. So don't get caught in the whatever it's called mindset. Learn the names, learn the um, the highlights of the product so that you can speak intelligently with either uh, the carrier, the people that you're working with, and also your client. Even though I don't really go into the product name with my client, I don't bring up the product name. I, I simply refer to it as term or you know whole life. But what is important is that as you're communicating with the carriers and you know uh, whoever your success coach is or whoever is guiding you as you start this career or work through this career, um, that you use the appropriate uh, product names. I feel that that's really important. Um, you, it's hard to make sure that a new agent is not confused when you know they're kind of dismissive of some of those product names. So don't be the dismissive one, be the specific one, okay? I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it added some clarity. Uh, you'll have to excuse my terribly messy office. It looks like a bomb has gone off in here, but it looks like that most days. So just ignore it and we will see you on the next video. Thanks guys, bye.